So, mommy, what do you think? Beautiful, my gift for Mother's Day. You love it? Love it. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, mommy. Thanks. Mm. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Anna Rita. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today I decided to do a spring flowery Mother's Day look. This is actually dedicated to my mommy, who I love. Um, I did this especially for her. All the flowers were in honor of her. She loves tulips. She loves the color yellow. So everything was for her for Mother's Day and for actually being one of the reasons um, why I started my channel. She loved everything that I created, all my paintings and everything. She said, you have to put this out there. And she is one of the people that really pushed me to start my channel. So this is for you, Mom. Love you. All right, guys, first things first, get naked. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna moisturize and prime our face and our neck and our chest area to have it all moisturized for our paint. So I used reference pictures to draw all the flowers and here I'm just starting to sketch them out and get a clear sense of where I'm gonna lay them and what they're gonna look like and it's a very rough sketch. Then I started laying down the base colors for all the flowers, again very roughly because we're going to be doing a lot of shading, a lot of highlighting, so it's just to get color placement. Once I was satisfied with the base color placement, I started mixing black with each of those colors and started adding shading to each of the flowers to create depth and dimension. And here I just went back in with the red and started blending it in with that darker shade so that there would be a seamless transition. And here I did the same thing with this yellow rose. I mixed black with yellow to create the shadow and then went back in with yellow to blend the two colors together and create the shape of the rose and add depth and dimension. For this middle flower, I had created these red petals, which I absolutely hated. So I removed the whole thing and started from scratch. On the new flower, I added orange petals, which came out a lot better, especially after shading everything in. Here you're gonna see me start highlighting um, just with white and kind of blending it out with my finger and just adding light to all the flowers to make them pop and to, again, add depth and dimension. Then I finally added little black dots to the center of this flower. And here I am starting to make baby's breath which are those little white flowers that are in every bouquet of flowers that you see, just to add a little more pop of color around the flowers too. Mm -hmm. 
Then with a dark green body paint, I start creating the stems of the flowers and the stems of the baby's breath. Then I added some light green to some of the stems to just add a little more light and dimension. <laughs> I feel like I'm seeing a lot of dimension in these explanations. Lastly, I picked up a brown eyeshadow and started shading around the flowers because right now it's just sitting on your skin and you kind of want to make it pop. So by adding some darkness around the flowers, it will make them look like they're popping off your skin. So after this, you're done with your chest and we're gonna move on to face. I moisturized and primed my face and did my foundation and one of my eyes off of camera. Then I picked up my Morphe 35O palette and picked up this light peachy color and added it to my crease as a transition shade. Then I picked up this light orange shade and added it to my crease and blending it with that first shade. Then I picked up this darker orange and concentrated it on my crease and I'm creating a halo eye so going from inner and outer corner completely. Finally I picked up the darkest orange shade in that palette and again concentrating it on my crease creating a rounded shape for that halo eye. Then I picked up my NYX glitter primer and applied it to the center of my lid. Then I went into my Morphe 35B palette and picked up this shimmery yellow shade and applied it right at the center of the lid where I had applied the glitter primer. Then I went back in with that darker orange in the inner and outer corners and just to blend out the edges a little bit more and then just added a little more yellow to the center again, uh, making sure not to leave any harsh edges. Then I added that same dark orange shade to my lower lash line and blended it out. I also tight lined my lower waterline with a nude pencil and my top with black. I then did a wing using yellow face paint. Then I added a highlight to my brow bone in the inner corner of my eye using that shimmery yellow shade from the 35B palette. I also added that yellow face paint to the inner corner of my lower lash line. And here I'm applying mascara and then some fake lashes. For my lips, using my fingers, I applied that orange face paint. And finally, I added that shimmery yellow shade to the middle of my lips. I thought I was done, but I decided to add the blonde wig just so I could look a little more like my mama because she is blonde. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun to create. Um, please subscribe, share, like, comment. And happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful moms out there. And to the dads too that are moms and dads too. Some kids out there. Thank you again and I'll see you next time. Peace and love guys.